hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today i have another grocery haul for you all right guys this is my grocery haul for the end of september beginning of october a lot of these items are definitely going to last uh past a week and hopefully uh some of these items will last us past october um or at least to the about the end of october and then some of these items i just got i got for the pantry because we have been using up a lot of my pantry items and i needed to um, get a couple of more um, of those things so i'm going to show you guys what i got so this video is not super long so the first thing that i picked up is some of this ground beef from aldi you guys have seen me purchase this before um, i didn't get as much this month because i do have a little bit in the freezer um, but i did get this uh with a coupon and it ended up making each one of these I think a little bit less than three dollars uh, per package which is less than three dollars a pound and I think for um, ground beef I mean for even for regular ground beef that's a good price because it's usually more than that so for organic grass-fed ground beef that's actually a ridiculously good deal okay so I did get five of those um, I did go to Costco I actually didn't tell you guys where I uh, went to get these groceries I went to um, Costco I didn't get a lot at Costco um, but I did need a few things that I was completely out of so I did go to Costco I went to Aldi and I went to Kroger and I did a pickup uh, at Sprouts all right so I picked up a bag of this rice because I do uh, like to keep this in the freezer we have been eating a lot more rice lately we weren't really eating a ton of rice because we were my husband and i were trying to eat low carb however um to try and stick with the budget and adjust with the times we have been eating a little bit more rice and so i do have some in the freezer but i wanted to make sure that we did have plenty of rice um not necessarily just for this month but for i guess the next this will actually last us i don't know six months to a year because we really don't eat a ton of rice um we just kind of add it to dishes to make the meat stretch further so i did get this at costco and i will put the price on the screen for you all right so at sprouts i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i got from sprouts i picked up um one half gallon of this milk we hadn't been drinking as much milk lately either so i just got one i picked up this butter uh, because i did have a coupon for it and i do like to make sure i have plenty of butter in the freezer because i have been doing uh quite a bit of baking lately i picked up some sour cream for taco night or just uh for whoever wants to have sour cream but typically typically we use this i don't use this but my family uses it they like to use this when we have tacos burritos and things like that so i did get two of those i also picked up some of these uh egg noodles i don't have any egg noodles at all and for chicken noodle soup um, i decided to go ahead and pick some of these up because they were actually on sale for i think a dollar and 50 or dollar and 60 something cent a piece so I did go ahead and grab these because I'm going to be making uh, quite a bit of soup here in the near future. All right, I picked up this uh, box of cereal. I don't typically buy a lot, but this one was on sale for $2. And so I just got one. I picked up some organic heavy whipping cream because I have about a half of a bottle in the refrigerator and I used this in baking as well I actually meant to get some buttermilk but I didn't see the buttermilk that I usually buy so I don't know when I'll get that but I do like to substitute this in place of buttermilk like if I'm making biscuits or pancakes and things like that um, I will use that in place of buttermilk so I did go ahead and grab one of those I got two of my husband's favorite uh nixie sparkling waters this is his favorite flavor he likes to have uh one of these when he gets home from work so i got two of those those were actually on sale this week i picked up some bone broth because i 
I'm actually uh, not completely out, but I don't have any chicken bone broth at all. So for the chicken noodle soup, I did need some chicken broth. So I got two chicken bone broths. These were actually uh, marked down to $2.49 each at Aldi. And I actually got two of the beef in the back as well. I think I showed you guys everything I got from Sprouts. Oh, I did pick up this meat uh, from Sprouts as well because uh, when I did my pickup order, I actually did have a coupon. And this beef actually ended up being about $3, just under $3 a pound for each one of these as well. So whenever I can get beef for that cheap, um, and this is actually cheaper than the conventional ground beef. So I went ahead and got three of those because we're actually getting ready to have burgers tonight. And we do go through quite a bit of ground beef. We eat a lot of meat in this house because, um, well, I don't eat a ton of meat, but as a family, we kind of eat a lot of meat because we do like to try and incorporate more protein into our diet, especially for my husband and my son. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys these two items because I need to get them in the freezer, but I did get two bags of veggies. I am almost out of green beans and I have no more of these or these mixed vegetables. So I did get the four pound bag. I think they're both four pounds. Uh, no, this one's five pounds. So I did, they're both five pounds actually. So. I did get five pounds of the mixed vegetables and five pounds of the organic green beans from Costco. I'm gonna go ahead and put these away. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this as well because I need to get this in the freezer. I did get these at Kroger. Um, these ended up being $2.50 a piece. So I picked up the thin and crispy Italian sausage and pepperoni and then this one is just cheese. We probably could have these tonight, but I just don't think these are going to be big enough uh, for all of us. I'd have to make like something extra to go with it, but we'll probably save the, these for another night and just go ahead and have burgers tonight. From Aldi, I got some great tomatoes. I wanted some slicing tomatoes to go on our burgers, but I just didn't see any fresh looking ones in the store. So I just got grape tomatoes. Um, these will go definitely in salads, but... Um, I don't know, I may slice some of these up and put them on the burgers tonight. I got these cucumbers from Aldi as well. These are for salads. I got some more Bartlett pears from Aldi. This is um, the cheapest price uh, that I could find for pears. So I just, just get one bag. I got one bag of these apples because we go through these really, really fast. My husband takes two of these to work every single day. And so I just wanted to make sure that we had enough of those. I only got one bag though, because we do have some in the refrigerator. I picked up um, just a little bit of cheese because we don't have any cheese at all in the refrigerator right now. And so I just picked up this cheddar cheese from Aldi. Uh, I picked up a couple of cans of soup. I got a chicken noodle soup and a tomato basil soup. Um, Cold and flu season is very near upon us. And I just wanted to make sure that if I'm not necessarily able to make enough soup and have some in the refrigerator, like as a leftover or something like that, that we, we would have some soup on hand for anyone who is possibly sick. And that same thing goes for um, having these cartons of bone broth. I do like to make my own bone broth, but I just haven't done that in a while. And so hopefully I'll get to that and we will actually have some homemade bone broth um, and just have this in case we need it. All right, I picked up another coconut oil and I picked up this avocado oil because I use this absolutely every day. Um, I use this, uh, this is my uh, go-to oil to saute, to fry, to just anything that I'm cooking in, a, in the skillet or if I'm roasting vegetables in the oven, this is the oil that I use. And so I just don't wanna run out of that. I got some tortilla chips and I got some salsa. This is uh, to cook with, but also my husband, he really loves chips and salsa. So maybe he will be eating some of that. Um, I think that's everything that I got from Aldi. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I ended up getting from Costco next. I got a five pound bag. I think this is five pounds. No, no, no. A six pound bag of carrots because I don't have any carrots at all in the refrigerator. I just used the last of them up. And in order to make soup, I'm going to need carrots. So I did get a big bag of carrots. These should last us a couple of months. 
um, for a couple of different, for quite a few recipes um, for making different soups. All right, I picked up some uh, sauerkraut for my husband, picked up some more pasta sauce because we are pretty much out of pasta sauce because we've actually been eating a little bit more pasta lately than we usually do. I got some peanut butter because we have a little bit in the refrigerator but just a little and so we do we've been enjoying eating peanut butter toast with banana and so i wanted to make sure we had a good amount of peanut butter i picked up some more of this balsamic glaze because i do use this whenever i make meatballs um and i also use this whenever i make um i don't even know what to call it but it kind of has sort of an asian flavor to it it's like ground beef and onions um, and just some different seasonings I use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce and I put some of this on there and uh, yeah, we put it on, we eat it on top of rice with, and with some other vegetables and it's really, really good. And I, I like to use this along with the Worcestershire sauce because it actually, they kind of balance each other out. Um, and I was completely out of this because I just used the last of what I had in my pantry a couple of days ago. So I just picked up one more of those picked up some tortillas because I have no more tortillas in the house at all so I picked up um, a pack of these these are an oldie but goodie I used to buy these all the time and the price just can't be beat they're like $4.99 I believe for like 36 so I did get those I picked up some spring mix I will say that I do prefer to buy the spring mix from Aldi but this was a little bit cheaper so I decided to go ahead and just grab this one we'll definitely eat this before um, the expiration date. I think it's October 7th. We'll definitely eat this before the expiration date. Um, but yeah, I picked up that for our burgers and for salad. Things that we might use lettuce for. Okay, I picked up a maple syrup because we have the last one in the refrigerator and I'm probably gonna start making pancakes a little bit more often now that it's starting to get cooler. Um, so I did uh, I didn't want to run out of the maple syrup. I picked up some olives um, These are just a good snack. This is something that I could probably also send with my husband to work um, But yeah, we're we were pretty much out of olives I don't even think I have one can left in the pantry. So I, I picked those up. I picked up some chomps meat sticks because my husband takes these to work every single day and I think we might have a couple left um in his snack bin so I didn't want to run out of those so I went ahead and picked up a bag of the chomps meat sticks for him I picked up some of these beets for my husband I did get another bag of coffee because we actually just finished a bag of coffee and we're almost halfway through another bag of coffee at right, the very last store that I did go to well I guess the last two stores are Kroger and Walmart and so I did pick up some sweet potatoes and I picked up some russet potatoes that's tonight to go with the burgers just one bag of each I picked up some more bananas for my husband to take to work they are slightly green and so by the time Monday comes around and he needs to take these to work um, they should be uh, just about right where they need to be all right I picked up another bag of chocolate chips because I do have some in the pantry but I I recently just used some in making two batches of chocolate chip cookies so I just wanted to replenish some of those I got these burger buns for burgers tonight these would have been a little bit cheaper at Kroger however Kroger was completely out so I did end up getting these at Walmart I, I picked up this tea at Kroger and this was completely free it's called half day tea um, this is the peach flavor. I'll show you guys the ingredients if you're interested. I think that's the right way. You can pause the video and read those if you are interested. But yeah, this is just a new tea. It's supposed to be a healthy probiotic tea. If you guys have tried this, let me know what you think. But this was completely free, so um, I did grab that. Oh, I wanted to show you this as well. I did get this completely free as well. Uh, this was free. It was just a freebie when I did my order. Uh, through Instacart uh, it just rang up completely free so I did get this for my son because he does actually like these I've bought these several times before and again I'll show you the ingredients if you guys are interested but this is a probiotic soda 
it's made by the company health aid if you guys have heard of the health aid kombucha that is the brand that is the company that makes it but the brand is sunsip and this is by far i think my son's favorite flavor so i did go ahead and get that for him since it was completely free um okay and these actually i got these are really really good you guys have seen me buy these before i actually got uh these for under two dollars a peep but yeah that is absolutely i think there's everything that i got except for i did get these two two packages of um chicken drumsticks from costco i did get two packs of those because we were completely out of chicken i don't have any chicken breast or anything and i actually tried to order some chicken breast from aldi today but it was out of stock but guys that's everything except for two 40 count packs of water that i did also get from costco that is everything that i got today so if you guys have any questions or comments please put them in the box below and i will talk to you guys in my next video.